that you wish you had your bacon flavor. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm beat. See, Lyle, you're not sitting in the right spot, Lyle. That's not your spot. <laughs> <laughs> See some of the zip lines? There's a zip line. These towers have zip lines between them. Oh. Well, that's over the wooded area. Wooded area. Some of them, I think, are just over the wood there, but there's all there's other there's other gator things. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ricardo. <laughs> he's nice to his ladies, though. He's really nice to his ladies. So how can you tell them with their male finger? You got to take the finger, and you <laughs> slit in the bottom, and you shove your finger in there. And if you feel something, it's a boy. If you don't, it's a girl. And I really swear to God, I wish I was joking. I wish, so I wish I had it. A different, no. We know because we probe them. Um, but it's like the aliens, you know? They just come and they probe you. Right. You just get them in trouble. So, a funny story, you'll like this. So, I was, I've been here 15 years. So, I asked the same question you did because Bush Gardens called in one of 10 10 foot males. Look at them. That is so, crazy. They caught all these alligators and they had them all roped up. I'm like, how do we know when we're sending them males? And he goes, all right, come here, Michael. So, he's like, sit down on the back of that alligator. They're all taped up. And I'm like, sit on that gator. Take your finger and shove it in this vent. And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> You've been doing this since 1949, and this is the best tool you have. This is hazing the new guy. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's what I would so have thought. Like, no, 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 for real, for real. Sit on him, check. So I sit on the first gator, I shove my finger in, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel, but I don't feel anything. This is gross. There's nothing <laughs> in here. So I'm like, okay, come sit on the next one. So I sit on the next one, I'm like, Oh, 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 what is that? And they're like, that's a boy, that's a girl. Keep going, there's like 50 to go. So I, I'm, so I start probing these gators. I'm probing, I'm probing, I'm probing, I'm probing. I get about halfway done. My boss walks in there and he goes, Michael, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm nice. probing the gators. I'm finding the boys from the girls. He goes, I know, we wear gloves here. <laughs> So that was the hazing portion. They oh, forgot to tell me that you always wear a glove when you shove your face inside the glove. Stupid. Stupid. So now I'm like, yeah, probe that gator. Sit down right there. See, there's sure. that piece of chicken. They, didn't... they missed it. They missed it. Yeah. It didn't touch them. So if you look really closely, there's little black dots on the side or the middle of the scale, right? So those are called ISO sensors. Alligators only have them on the front of their face. Crocodiles have them over their entire body. So if you were to touch that crocodile's elbow, he could taste you. Ew, he could feel your heart that? beating through. Oh, wow. Yeah, he'll know exactly where you are and exactly what's touching him. So because that chicken didn't touch anything, they didn't, they didn't know it was there. That one doesn't have any teeth. So she came from another facility, and I think they were feeding them a lot of, a lot of uh, red meat chunks and not whole prey animals. That's the best, like rabbits and rats and stuff like that. Because they're getting liver, spleen, kidney, bone, all that good stuff. And getting all the vitamins. So she probably had a calcium deficiency for years and years and lost all her teeth. That's what oh, happens. But that... they're growing back. We got some new ones coming in. Ricardo's looking for that chicken. I was going to say, he can smell it, I'm sure. I just think he saw it. Like I said, he's smart. Oh. He's really smart. So that the reason I don't think that the smell is that big of a deal is because this animal can hold its breath for like four to six hours. So the olfactory <laughs> sensors that are in its nose aren't really designed. Dude, I can't do it. <laughs> do it, Dave. I can't do it, man. I don't think they're meat either. I think it should be okay. But you would think that they would have it. Oh, <laughs> 
he felt it. <laughs> hey, why you keep throwing that stuff at me, man? You know, if that would happen, you get a new supervisor, Sam can, you know, they bring in somebody that, you know, next thing you know, Sam will be gone. Yeah, Sam will be gone. So it'd be like, it could all just turn around in six months or three months. It just told a whole long, you know, you know I leave now in three months. Come on, let's talk to Southern Gable and Wade. Watch you guys give me a great big howdy! Howdy! howdy. howdy. Alligator Show. Now, before we get into anything too crazy, let me tell you guys how this all got started. The alligators, they've been stomping around this earth for over 200 million years, outliving the dinosaurs. So they've been here a heck of a lot longer than we have. Now, the first people started interacting with these animals were the Seminoles back in the 1700s. It was then we started tangling with these guys on a day-to-day -day basis. Then along came other settlers or cowboys bringing cattle up to the state. And that was the show. What she learned in the show saved her life, so listen up. Wait, where are you going? I'm, I'm making sure the people are safe. Oh, I'm glad you're safe. All right, Kensley, is this the alligator you wanted? You better say yes, girl. All right, let's see. All right, you know. This is how you walk your dog in Florida. Hi, neighbor, your cat's missing, that's weird. All right, let's see, we'll go for it. Let's see where a second happened. We landed on her! Now what? Uh, I don't know. I've never made it this far. <laughs> Alright, so we'll catch you in with teeth, because that sounds like it's about to start. Yes, it does. Oh. 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 Alright, now we got ourselves a gator! Yeah, the crowd goes mild! Let's go! There you go. Thank you guys. Now we have James. James out here telling you guys all a really cool history about alligator wrangling and how it got started in the state of Florida. What James didn't have time to tell you guys was the hardest part about wrangling alligators was just finding alligators. I mean, come on, guys. Take a really good look and shout it out. What color is this alligator? Dark. That's right. They're dark. They're black. They're brown. They're gray. They're all these different dark colors, right? They're not really bright green like in the cartoons. These guys are masters of camouflage. And if they want to interact with their environment, all they need to do is expose those two little nostrils right at the tip of the snout. Now, what she can do with her nostrils that we can't do with arcs. She can seal them up and hold her breath for about two hours underwater. It's crazy. Now, let's say they smell something they do like, like a turtle or a bird. The next thing that pops up are the eyes. And a lot of people think that an alligator's eyes are in a bad spot. They say you get clawed out by an animal or poked out by a branch. Even if you guys Google what to do if an alligator's biting me, Google's probably gonna tell you guys to stick it in the eye. I'm gonna show you why it's not gonna work, all right? People over here first. Pretend my fingers are danger. The danger comes along. The eyes sink into the base of the skull, and they pop right back up. Nope. Doesn't hurt them at all. It's the same muscle that we use to blink. Ready? People over here. Bloop. People in front of me. Ready? Bloop. It helps if you make the blooping noise. That's why I do it. People behind me. Ready? I didn't forget about y'all. You guys can do one eye, both eyes, backwards, forwards. Bloop, 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 bloop. Kids, it's a lot of fun trying on each other. Don't do that. Like you guys are probably wondering, though. What do you do when alligators biting me? Well, a young girl actually watched the show and what she learned from watching it, and this part actually helped save her life. Now, if you guys are ever being bit by an alligator, what you want to do is you want to make a fist and hit him right in the snout. Now, the reason that works is because the snout is covered in all these little black dots. They're called ISO sensors. 
making it the most sensitive part on the entire alligator. In fact, it's even more sensitive than the millennials nowadays. So y'all give it a couple shots just to let you know. It works on millennials too. Now right below the eyes are the ears. And a lot of people think it's kind of weird that alligators have ears, but they actually need them. They're very vocal animals. In fact, there's a noise that y'all can make, and it's the same noise that a baby alligator uses to call over its mom. It sounds just like this. Mama! Mama! Got him! It sounds more like this, guys. Y'all get that call shot. Alright, not bad, not bad. Somebody in front of me sounds like a dying chihuahua. We'll talk about that later. But, I'm looking around, and y'all look thrilled with death so far. You guys probably didn't come out here to see some guy make a bunch of weird noises on the back of an alligator. Y'all want to see some action, right? So I like happy all. Come on, guys, y'all want to see some action, right? There you go. All right, awesome. Before we get to the really dangerous stuff, I've got one more question for y'all. What do you guys think is the most dangerous part of an alligator? All right, I heard a lot of mouth, teeth, and tail. We're going to put to a vote, all right? So if you guys think it's the mouth and the teeth, raise your hand. All right, not bad. If you guys think it's the tail, raise your hand. All right, cool. All my people, with your hand up for tail, take a really good look at which end I'm holding on to. It's the mouth, guys. Come on. When's the last time you turned on the news and heard man in Florida beat the death by alligator tail today? It just doesn't happen. This is the business end of the alligator. Now that being said, I'm going to attempt to show you guys the inside of the alligator's mouth. And I stress the word try because some of you guys may know, alligators actually have one of the strongest bites in the entire animal kingdom. So if she doesn't want her mouth open, there's not much I can do about it. But she wants it open. I'm just going to let her relax her bottom jaw. Take a quick look like Ken, guys. We got 72 to 84 razor sharp teeth. They're all meant for ripping and tearing, not crushing and chewing like ours are. Now at the back of the throat, there's a little flap of skin. It might be open, it might be shut. I'm not going to check. That's called an epiglottis. And basically, if she bites something underwater, it seals up the back of her throat and prevents her from drowning. It's a great adaptation. All right, everyone got a good look inside the mouth, right? Yeah. All right, awesome. So moving oh, on. Wait, 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 Evan. What? Wait, yeah. What about all these people behind you, man? They didn't see. You guys didn't see? No. It's okay. You guys can move. <laughs> hey, look, it's the tail, the most dangerous part. Look at it go. <laughs> Give me one second. All right, I'll turn them around for y'all. Stupid stuff we do in Florida for minimum wage. <laughs> Thanks for laughing, guys. That one wasn't a joke. <laughs> My last paycheck was. Can y'all see better now? Yeah, yeah I'm glad a few y'all are happy. All right, let's see. We'll do this one more time. Take one was kind of short anyway. We'll talk about the dental plan. See, alligators have a great dental plan. It's because they're constantly breaking off teeth. They bite down on really hard objects like turtle shells, bones, other alligators. In fact, an alligator this size already has about a thousand pounds. Woo! Yeah, I'm good. I think I just peed a little. It's funny from out there. All right, that's enough of the mouth. If you guys didn't see it that time, the next show is tomorrow. Someone else can show you. As you guys just saw, they have a whole lot of slamming force. One thing they don't have a lot of is opening force. In fact, I can keep her jaws shut with just one hand. But come to find out, it actually takes a lot less pressure than one hand to keep jaws of an alligator shut. So y'all check this out. It's like the famous last words of a redneck right there. Hey y'all, check this out. Here, hold my beer. And my baby. Wait, hey, what? Did you say you're gonna pass off your beer before your baby? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to make another beer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids. That one was for the adults. You guys got that? That's your parents' fault. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. We're gonna give her just a second, and y'all take a quick look. How a little pressure this should be. Woo! What she learned on this show saved her life, so let's see. Wait! Where are you going? I'm, I'm making sure the people are safe. Oh, I'm glad you're safe. Alright, Kensley, is this the alligator you wanted? You better say yes, girl. Alright, let's see. Alright, you know. This is how you walk your dog in Florida. Hi, neighbor, your cat's missing, that's weird. 
Alright, let's see. We'll go for it. Let's see where a second happened. Woo! We landed on it! Now what? Uh, I don't know. I've never made it this far. Alright, so we'll catch you with teeth, because that sounds like a good spot to start. Yes, it does. Alright, now we got ourselves a gator! Yeah, the crowd goes wild! Awesome! There you go, thank you guys. Now we have James. James out here telling you guys all the really cool history about alligator wrangling and how it got started in the state of Florida. Boy, James didn't have time to tell you guys. What's the hardest part about wrangling alligators? Was just finding alligators. I mean, come on guys, take a really good look and shout it out. What color is this alligator? That's right, they're dark, they're black, they're brown, they're gray. They're all these different dark colors, right? They're not really bright green like in the cartoons. These guys are masters of camouflage. And if they want to interact with their environment, all they need to do is expose those two little nostrils, right, the tip of the snout. Now, what she can do with her nostrils that we can't do with ours, she can seal them up and hold her breath for about two hours underwater. It's crazy. Now, let's say they smell something they do like, like a turtle or a bird. The next thing that pops up are the eyes. And a lot of people think that an alligator's eyes are in a bad spot. They say you get clawed out by an animal or poked out by a branch. And even if you guys Google what to do if an alligator's biting me, Google's probably gonna tell you guys to stick with the eye. I'm gonna show you why it's not gonna work, all right? People over here first. Pretend my fingers are danger. The danger comes along. You guys sink into the base of the skull, they pop right back up. Doesn't hurt them at all. It's the same muscle that we use to blink, ready? People over here. People in front of me, ready? It helps if you make the blooping noise, that's why I do it. People behind me, ready? I forget about y'all. You guys can do one eye, both eyes, backwards, forwards. Bloop, 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 bloop. Kids, it's a lot of fun trying to eye each other. Don't do that. Like you guys are probably wondering though, what do you do when alligators biting me? Well, a young girl actually watched this show and what she learned from watching it in this part actually helped save her life. Now, if you guys are ever being bit by an alligator, what you want to do is you want to make a fist and hit him right in the snout. Now, the reason that works is because the snout is covered in all these little black dots. They're called ISO sensors making it the most sensitive part on the entire alligator. In fact, it's even more sensitive than the millennials nowadays. So y'all give it a couple shots and should let you go. It works on millennials too. Now right below the eyes are the ears. And a lot of people think it's kind of weird that alligators have ears, but they actually need them. They're very vocal animals. In fact, there's a noise that y'all can make and it's the same noise that a baby alligator uses to call over its mom. It sounds just like this. Behind it, man. They didn't see. You guys didn't see? No. It's 
okay? You guys can move. I feel like it's the tail, the most dangerous part. Look at it go. Give me one second. All right, I'll turn it around for y'all. Stupid stuff we do in Florida for minimum wage. Thanks for laughing, guys. That one wasn't a joke. My last paycheck was. Can y'all see better now? Yeah, I'm glad a few y'all are happy. All right, let's see. We'll do this one more time. Take one was kind of short anyway. We'll talk about the dental plan. See, alligators have a great dental plan. It's because they're constantly breaking off teeth. They bite down on really hard objects like turtle shells, bones, other alligators. In fact, an alligator this size already has about a thousand pounds. Yeah, I'm good. I think I just peed a little. It's funny from out there. All right, that's enough of the mouth. If you guys didn't see it that time, the next show is tomorrow. Someone else can show you. As you guys just saw, they have a whole lot of slanting force. One thing they don't have a lot of is opening force. In fact, I can keep her jaw shut with just one hand. But come to find out, it actually takes a lot less pressure than one hand to keep jaws of an alligator shut. So y'all check this out. It's like the famous last words of a redneck right there. Hey y'all, check this out. Here, hold my beer. And my baby. Wait, what? what? Did you say you're gonna pass off your beer before your baby? Yeah! I don't know how to make another beer. <laughs> Sorry kids, that one was for the adults. You guys got that? That's your parents' fault. <laughs> Alright, let's see. The better snack <laughs> Gee, thanks James. What are you here for again? Uh, no moral support. Moral support. For who? Go Gators! <laughs> you know what guys? James is right. This one goes according to plan. You guys can watch the alligator's bottom jaw. And if this goes horribly wrong today, you guys can watch my bottom jaw. Haha. <laughs> Guys, he's setting it up again. Folks on the alligator's bottom jaw here. Watch your free bar open. He's got his hands back. Get your pictures in while you can, guys. I, I, here, hold on, Evan, are you smiling? Evan, smile! Dude, is he smiling? Yes, Alright, guys, get your pictures in now. Perfect. Come on, Evan, Evan, get those hands back, dude. They're changing their Snapchat filters and stuff. You know? I'm done with that one. Normally go like a thunderous round of applause for right this last time. Awesome, thank you guys. What I really meant to say is sometimes people can't help it. They get so excited they start throwing money at me. Yeah! No? I guess that one's just my night job. All right. So let's see. You know, I got one more question for y'all. What do you do if you're being chased by a wild alligator? That's right, run. Don't run zigzags. I heard somebody say it. That one was made up about a hundred years ago by a crazy lady. She just wanted to watch her husband get eaten, all right? Just run straight, run fast. They only run four to seven miles an hour and you can outrun that. If you guys don't feel like running, just do what I do. I trip my friend and walk. <laughs> but you know what? Guys, alligators are only gonna chase you for one of two reasons. That's if you're messing with their babies, in which case... Thank <laughs> you.